Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday and tomorrow my husband and I, we are going on a spontaneous weekend getaway to Florida. We are going to be gone from Friday to Sunday. My husband came up with this at the last minute and I know why he did that because I've had such a bad couple of weeks. So he's trying to cheer me up. So he was like, let's go to Florida and visit our friends and family. But the money we have left over after we've paid everything, if you're new to my channel, we are debt free, but we still owe for our mortgage. And we set a certain amount of money to our investments, retirement and stuff like that. And we don't want to chance going back into debt so we budget kind of to the t but we had five hundred dollars left over so that's our budget five hundred dollars and we said now how can we go to florida for five hundred dollars we started brainstorming we were going to fly there because it was only the weekend and I suggested Spirit Airlines and my husband was like no oh no because of all the negative comments but this is where your customer service skills come in at. You have to be able to weed through those comments. You do not have to tell me how awful Spirit Airline is. Trust me, I have read every negative comment, but I've outweighed the good and the bad. We just want to get from point A to point B, and that's what we're going to do. With um, traveling only in a personal item, Spirit Airline gave a rate for the both of us round trip for $175. That's with picking the seat, requesting it online, booking it online, everything was $175. For our hotel, we used our points. Y'all know we always use our points for everything. And we still owed $55 because we didn't have enough points to cover it all, but it's still good. We did have enough points to cover a free car rental with gas. And we just used our points. We're going to a comedy show. And that for the comedy show with the tickets and the food, that is $110. The tickets is $50 and the food we budgeted $60. We're going to the casino. My husband, he doesn't want to gamble. Him and um, our friends and family, some of them, they're going to be watching some kind of a game. But the rest of us is going to be gambling. And all I have is $100. That is going to be very harsh for me. Once this is, I'm tapped out, I have to go watch this game. And for the restaurants, we budgeted $60. But I do have gift cards, so if all this fails, we can just run around to restaurants and use our gift cards. Now, we pulled out the $500, and this is where we use our points. We maximize our money. We just keep, you know, making our money work for us. And what I mean by that is we pay Spirit Airlines $175 with one of our rewards points card and then we'll take that $175 that I pulled out from the 500 and put it back to that card and you just keep building points and using them you know just maximizing our money so this is already paid the hotel part is $55 we paid that with another rewards point credit card so that's paid they've already pulled the points for the rental car the comedy show, same thing. We already paid the tickets with, a, with our rewards points credit card. So the food for the comedy show, the casino, and the restaurant, these are all going to be cash envelopes. And the amount of money I have left is $220 for these three amounts right here. So we'll come down to our cash envelope amount is $220. Comedy show food, just a recap, is $60. The restaurant is $60. 
and the casino is a hundred dollars and I have over here my cash envelope if you haven't seen this video I'll link it below so you can check it out but this is the cash envelope that I made for my travel and I have the two hundred and twenty dollars here now I'm going to show y'all how I packed my luggage for Spirit Airline. This is the suitcase I'm taking. It's an American Tourster and Spirit Airline personal item can't exceed 18 by 14 by 8 and this measures less than that. And it has a very tall handle there. to twirl it around. It does spin 360 degrees. This is the back of it. I love this little suitcase, especially because it's red and black. But it has a zipper part on the outside. And I have a, my poncho in here in case it rains while we're in Florida. When you open it up, there's a zip right here. That's where my iPad will be. I have my crossbody Tommy Hill figure purse. I already have it filled with stuff. I've got my makeup in this little bag right here. Try not to, I've already got it packed. I'm trying not to like disturb it too much. I've got some snacks right here. I've got a portable fan here. Some house slippers here. These are some flip flops. My shoes I'm wearing to go out in. And this is my necessity bag. Let me see. Pull this out so you can see it. This clutch I will carry the night that we go out. And in this zip here is where I put all of my clothes. It's under, see how you have the lining of your suitcase? And then there's this zip part in here. And I started utilizing this zip part. I, I used to never use it, but I started utilizing it. But You look closer here, you will see I have my clothes there. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I can bring it closer. But my clothes, I have a plastic bag here and my clothes are under here all rolled up nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in. There you go. My little suitcase is packed and ready to go for our Spirit Flight Airline. It's the first time we've ever flown with them. So I will be vlogging the trip just as much as I can. You know when I'm with my friends and my family, I, it's a little awkward. So I don't get to vlog like I want to, but I'll do what I can. But So stay tuned for that vlog. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.